Dude, what is this? What have you done? There's green everywhere. There's no way you're gonna fix this. Even the desk is gonna disappear, man. Man, why did he have to go and do that for? Now you guys all know what the issue was with my last video. The green screen tutorial. The reason why that happened, just to let you guys know, is I didn't have the desk and chair far enough away from the green screen. Yeah, I did have it about five feet away. I should have probably put it further away though because both the chair and the desk, which I didn't know about the desk, had a reflection on them, which made that spill pretty bad. I mean, the desk was nearly completely covered in green. So you can imagine what happens when I keyed it out. Yeah, the desk completely disappears, which you'll see uh, in this tutorial. Anyways, before we get started, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here and you like what you're seeing. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the tutorial. Let me show you how I fixed it. Okay guys, I already went ahead and masked out the green screen here. Uh, I did it roughly. I mean, it could be better, but what we need to focus on is the desk. As you can see, there's a lot of green all the way across the bottom here of this desk. It's ridiculous, like you can see it. That's the spill and it's really bad and you got some on your chair too and of course there's some on me, um, which isn't too bad. It's the desk that's bad and watch what happens when I key this out. So we'll go here, I'll go to key it and bam, the desk disappears. It's completely gone almost. The only thing that's remaining is my shadow. Yeah, I was I was really bummed when uh, this happened. I was just, uh, yeah, it, it just sucked. <laughs> Cause now what I have to do, I'm gonna uh, revert this here. What we need to do is I need to duplicate this layer. So we'll go down here and we'll hit Control Cut C and Control V to paste. And let's go to the top and I'm gonna go in here and mask and I'm gonna clear out the mask that we have here. And what we need to do is I need to mask out just the desk. And of course, I move um, in other footage, so it makes this a little bit more difficult. For the sake of this tutorial, I did it still shot, so it's not that bad. We also gotta go around the dang cup, because it's got a reflection too. If I don't go around the cup, what I apply to this will impact that cup too. So now that we have this nest out almost here, if I hide this layer here, you'll see that all I have is the desk cropped out. So we'll go ahead and bring it back. So what we need to do here is we need to apply an effect. So we'll go over to effects and we're going to type in channel and we should have channel mixer. We're going to apply that to our clip here. What we really need to work with is the red red, the green green, and the blue blue, which really is just the red, green, and blue channels. Uh, we want to take the green down pretty low. In this case, I found the 16 worked. And you want to do um, the 50-50 rule with the red and blue channels. Um, I did start off with 50 on both, and as you can tell, it, you got like a purplish tint. Of course, my desk is black, but if you go down a little bit more, you can tell that that purple is going away. But see, so you can you can play around with this to try to get the color right. But thankfully, in my case, because the desk was black, I can actually do monochrome, and it gives me more of that black look that I needed for my desk. And that is all you need to do to fix it. So when we go to the layer below it and we apply that key again, the desk is not gone. It's what it needs to be. However, if you go back to my previous tutorial, which you can look at the card above, you can uh, uh, go to that video and you can play through it again and you'll see the issue. Um, like I said, I'm still learning, I'm still getting good, better at this, but the more I learn, the more I can teach you guys. But anyways, that's what you need to do, uh, in my case. And you guys are probably going like, well, why didn't you use the spill suppressor for? Well, I'll show you why. So here we have the desk is gone. Let's try to do the spill suppressor and see what happens. So I'll turn it on. It's not doing much. Even when you do ultra, it's not going to help. Spill suppressor is designed for just taking the edge off of other uh, footage. So like when it spills over on your clothing and stuff, that's kind of what it focuses on. And you can adjust its tolerance to get rid of it. And you can tell that it's more by zoom in here. You can tell, so you can still see some of the green. So if I adjust it, you can see that it's changing the color and it's, it's going away. It's a pretty good uh, effect, but the reason why it's off by default though is, is the fact that you don't want to have to use it. I mean, yeah, if you key your, your footage properly and green screen properly, 
there's going to be a chance of some spill. That's what it's for, to, to make it look more natural. But generally, if you're five to 10 feet away or more from the green screen, and you got the lighting right on the green screen, you got your subject lit right, you won't have to worry about it. The, the rule of thumb is, you know, the more you can do up front without post editing, the quicker you're going to be at editing. Well, anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned from my mistake and not to do it. Uh, you can see that it was a, a nightmare for me. I mean, this clip specifically wasn't that hard, but the rest of my footage from that, I had to actually rotoscope my arms because my hands and arms were moving on the desk and I was making movements and my watch actually did mess up. So yeah, uh, it definitely uh, was a pain. It took me a lot longer to do that video than it should have. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like my video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.